So, okay, we're on our way. We're going around to different uh, people involved with Transformers. And I just, this is such an exciting thing for me to be in a, a big budget blockbuster, you know, with big budget stars and blockbuster directors and robots and aliens and gunfire. You know, so much gunfire. And I've never been in a film with that much gunfire. So we're going actually to Mark Wahlberg's house and I'm just gonna thank him because he sort of took me under his wing, you know? And he's very strong, so when he did that, it actually almost crushed and fractured my skull. All right, we're gonna go see you with Mark Wahlberg. Sorry, new van. All right. So we're gonna get, you've got the, ad, the address and everything. This is uh, my assistant, Kathleen. She, I thought she was an intern for about, I'd say a year and a half, and then I, she, she explained that I hadn't paid her, and so I had to, so that was a financial kind of burden. So I've got my Transformers shirt, and uh, Kathleen said maybe I could give it to Mark Wahlberg, and I said, absolutely not! Well, we're gonna try and get in there right now and, uh, and talk to Mark and just tell him thank you. And uh, see a little bit more about what it's like to be the star of Transformers 4. Well co-star you know i think i think we can just get over the fence <clears throat> you know we should try the buzzer we'll try the buzzer we also brought him some lobster candy so if you can get a shot of that <laughs> this is foreign Hi, Mark. It's T.J. Miller from Transformers 4. Okay. <laughs> All right. That easy. Boy, he sounds very feminine on the phone. Mark, how are you? Oh, how good. you doing? Nice touch. Good to see you. How are you? T.J. Miller from the hey. film. Yeah. I played Lucas. I remember. Lucas the Doofus, you nicknamed me. Hey, Rob, tell the contract I'm going to kill him. I was supposed to move a week ago. Oh, really? I wouldn't have been here. Are you, you're moving out of this place? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little cagey. So can, do you mind if we ask you a couple questions, hang out? You can hang out for a little while. First of all, I want to say thank you for having me in, in Transformers 4. And I actually, didn't have anything to do with that Michael cast you. Well, but you allowed I me to be I chimed there. in, and he, I was. Well, even just for chiming in, I brought you a lobster candy. And this is, nice. this is from another country. Is it a lobster flavor? This um, looks like a lobster turd. I think I'll join you. Uh, nah. This one, you're not gonna do it? Neither am I. Yeah, it was a mistake to bring it. So now we're at Bay Films, which is the epicenter of all of Michael Bay's major motion pictures. And uh, I just am coming by to see Michael Bay and thank him for having me uh, in his movie, Transformers 4, The Age of Extinction, T4AOE. I kinda, they weren't really expecting me, so. Hey, Phil. Hi, it's T.J. Miller here to see Michael Bay. I'm sorry. What was the name again? I don't... Uh, it's T.J. Miller. I was in Transformers 4 Age of Extinction. I'm sorry. If, you, if you're going to schedule me, I have to go through uh, Michael... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just... I, I was just going to drop off a, a, a fruit arrangement for him. Sorry. I, I don't... On the list. I, I can't let you in unless... Unless it's approved. Ah. Got an idea. Bay Films. Hi, it's Michael Bay here to see Michael. Uh, Excuse me? We're gonna take very little of your time, maybe 15 minutes. Because to me, 15 minutes of your time is it's like valuable. two weeks of Matt da Damon's time. Yes. And 10 weeks of Johnny Depp's. <laughs> Those that? guys. Done. I don't know what is going on with them. How do you feel like, as an action star, you stack up against Shia Le, Le, uh, Shia LaBeouf? LaBeouf? Is it? I think it's Shia. Shia LaBeouf. I'm almost positive it's Shia. It's Shia LaBeouf. And it's LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. I'm going to disagree with you respectfully there. You, that's your, uh, your prerogative. Okay. Uh, um, well, let's, let's not sort of haggle over this. Shia his. LaBeouf. Do you remember when uh, we were on set and you were standing next to me and you said, uh, oh, your hair smells great. Yes. What do you use, you know? And then I told you, and you said you've been using that, right? No, I haven't been using it. Oh. No, you smell like a chick that I knew. Hi. 
I'm at Kelsey Grammer's agent's office, and I've been living under this desk for about two and a half days, uh, waiting. Kelsey's supposed to come in any day now. Uh, so, oh. Oh, it's so much easier when no one's in the office. Anyway, I've been urinating in the trash can, and I've been defecating in a coffee cup, but he hasn't noticed. <laughs> oh, my. <coughs> Kelsey. Oh. Hi. Um, T.J. Miller from the film. Yeah, hi, T.J. You, uh, you mind if I um, get up and just... Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, Thanks man. How are you? Up. Yeah, sure. I've just been up there, under there for a couple days now. Have you? Uh, yeah. Uh, I just wanted... I've been going around thanking people um, uh, for having me in the major motion picture Transformers for Age of Extinction, or as I call it, T4AOE. Do you eat fruit? I and mean, I was looking online. I do. I, I don't tend to eat it off a big, sharp pine. Um, I have some kids that could use this or, you know, a science project or something. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Hand me that scarf. I have an idea. Kathleen, hand me the scarf. There's one thing I learned from Bay, where there's a will, there's a way. Hey, Bill. Hi, this is Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg? Yes, Mark Wahlberg to see uh, Michael Bay. Uh, got a little feminine, Mark Wahlberg. Oh, a little. F uh, yeah, I have a feminine uh, speaking voice over the telephone, but I'm uh, very masculine and and when my action films. Did you feel like pain and gain was more pain or more gain in terms of that film? Uh, initially during the course of the production, I thought it was pain, but then after Transformers came out, it seems to be it my game. It seems to be a real game. Hit it! I am three times. Yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna meet the star of Transformers 4. Here he is in all his glory. Optimus, it's nice to meet you. I'm, I'm T.J. Miller. Um, I'm in the, the movie Transformers 4, The Age of Extinction. I also got you this fruit basket. So, all right. You want to stay in car form? That's okay with me. You're the star, right? So here you go. Sorry about that. You haven't played a lot of villains, have you? I've done it before. Although I play one of the greatest villains of all time. Yes. Sideshow Bob. That's exactly right. I always thought that being a great villain involved having great facial hair. But I, I think mustaches can often be the most helpful of all villainous accoutrements. And uh, so I brought some mustaches. I just wanted to get your gauge on if I was to play a villain in a, maybe no. not Transformers, but some other sort of... Well, no, maybe not. Uh, so, uh, first off, what you got kind of, these are just different uh, villainous mustaches looking for the one that you respond to the most. Mm -hmm. First off, this is just kind of a bushy. This is called the old bushy bartender. And is that, that would sort of be, what do you think of that one? Not villainous enough? I don't know. It sort of reminds me that it's, it's Theodore Roosevelt a bit, too. Isn't it, it does. I find that the eyebrows can either be helpful or they can hurt the situation. Yeah. Would you be scared of that guy? No, I just wouldn't let him work on my car. So, let's ask some questions. Thank you, Kathleen. So, Optimus Prime, uh, what's it like to be the star of such a huge film franchise like Transformers? How do you think I could be sort of a better action star? Besides sort of shedding the toddler body and being able to run and work out and know what glutes are, what else could I do to sort of... Well, you should definitely be in the movie with me, and they should just cut to me a lot. Well, yeah. And then they're gonna people are just gonna think, "Wow, TJ's pretty damn good." So be in the movie and cut to you more. I was thinking sort of a workout regimen, but that makes sense also. You know, a maniacal laugh that's really big can help a small mustache like, <laughs> like that. You or, brought the mustache to life on that laugh. Yeah, or if you have sort of a bigger, bushier mustache, you can do a smaller maniacal laugh like. <laughs> These are all very entertaining. Do you think so? Good. Do you have any good maniacal laughs? Just... <laughs> it, there's, you can't beat, ah! Then this is Mark's gym. So here we are. How do you use all these machines? This is my first time in a gym. And then there's a basketball ball. This is like my first apartment. Are you a baller? This whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't want to brag, but I'm pretty, 
You know, I played b-ball in high school, so. All right. Duncan on uh, Wahlberg's court. A little travel. <laughs> nice. Well, I'll have you come over and play on my team, and I'll just have you hack the shit out of the best player on the I other team. I can do that, yeah. I was impressed with that dunk. Can we throw you an alley -oop? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. No! Ready? Yeah. I don't, is an alley What is an alley -oop? I throw it, you catch it in the air, and then dunk it. Oh, okay, now I get it. All right, yeah. sure. You don't catch it with your face. Let's try to, like... Oh, actually, that was a bad throw. There you go. Oh, okay. you did it! I did it! Yeah. Now, yeah, that counts. You're welcome to come here anytime. Really? Yeah, as soon as I move out. <laughs> Does a monocle help? You know, if you have sort of something like this. Only if you've got astigmatism. A monocle, yes. I only have astigmatism. Is that a good one, or does it make you look? I think you're actually finished. I would love to be in your entourage. I guess this is kind of my last question. Do you think that there's a place for me in it to, you know, I can do sort of the leg lift coaching or for sort of fruit arranging. We don't have a fruit arranger. So I could do that. Yeah, but you'd only be needed periodically. <laughs> like. More than meets the eye, or in this case, just exactly what what meets the eye. Headshot? I wanted to give you... Yeah, it is a headshot. Yeah, I carry a headshot. Is it? Dude, why didn't we have that guy in the movie? Yeah. That guy's got a career ahead of him. So I was just going to give you this, you know, in case you needed somebody in the Entourage movie, or I, I think you do do about seven films a year, right? So we oh, give a any slow, place a slow you. year, yeah. I like that picture, dude. Thank you, man. You can keep it. How do you um, send that picture to an edition and show up looking... Uh, Not like the picture. But, yeah, that's a personalized message to you. That's movie star. Look at that. Bam. Never give up. Keep at it. It's gonna happen. TJ. My buddy. It's what if I add this? Here, can you bring me that last? I just... I didn't know if there was a way. I just thought you... You're, you're so beloved by America mm. and not seen as Isn't a villain. That's nice to know. Yeah. But could could you, Kelsey Kramer, make this sort of a villainous thing? Yeah, when you yeah. add the bottle, yeah. I could. <laughs> Very good. I'll see you later. Okay. Uh, well, thank you so much for... Uh, My pleasure. ...for doing this. Um, and then, do you, do you know, do they validate parking? Because I haven't talked to anybody in the... See okay. you later. See you later. <laughs> Ah, dang. Dude, what's going on? Uh, hey, just, I'm putting. All right, good to see you, bro. I'm good to see you, too. Been there for a while, so I gotta get going. I gotta pick up my kids and... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's like an hour and a half. Cool. But did you have a good time? Yeah, thanks for having me. Cool. No, it was a pleasure. It was great. I can't wait to work with you. Oh, I'm looking forward. great, yeah, we, we're... Oh, we... Oh, you're on the phone. One, hold on one second. Hold on the phone, dude. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. Leave, leave the putting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... You want to do? You want to do it in September? I'll see. You, I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'm there. No, I don't care. Is the um, Can we is the exit Danny through the the pool or how do you? Hey, Hi, um, it, it, Michael Bay. It's T.J. Miller from Transformers Four: The Age of Extinction with Kelsey Grammer and Stanley Tucci and Mark Wahlberg. Um, and I'm here because uh, Michael Bay called me, and I, I wanted to thank him uh, for having me in his film. Okay. Yes. Hi, you're not the regular receptionist. So is he here? No. Okay. Well, I'll just, you know, I'll just kind of just, poke around and say hi to people. You know, you can leave it here, and and okay, I will yeah. make sure it gets to it. Now, is this is this thing removable? Just don't touch that. Oh, okay. Really valuable. Don't touch it. Wow. Bam. It's me. I'm just alive. Michael. Hi. T.J. Miller from the from Transformers 4. How are you? It's good to see you. Thanks. Um, so I just, do you mind if I sit down? I'll, I'll call you back. Oh. I'm um, sorry. I'm sitting down. So yeah, I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I, I wanted to thank you. What are you, you. doing here? Well, I came uh, to bring you a, a fruit arrangement. Why? 
um, to thank you for putting me in the film. Oh, this is really exciting. So this is for the bonus content for the what? you know the DVD and the streaming. Your video? Yeah, yeah. So this is for you. It has little Transformers heads on it, and there's a Star Spangled. What is it? It's a fruit arrangement, and there's a lime there. I don't know if you eat limes. You Ooh. smell like alcohol. Have you ever drank it? Yeah, I drank a little bit this morning, uh, because just to gain up the courage to try and to find you. I've been going around. I went to Mark Wahlberg's house, and I went to uh, interview Optimus Prime, and I've just been thanking everybody for putting me in the film, and so uh, the most gratitude is is for is to you, you know? Um, so... Uh, you know just a thank you for having me in the film and it was an unforgettable experience and i know how much the movies mean to america and china specifically did you enjoy my performance in the the film you, you were fun to work with you were it was fun you were a lot of fun so yeah but uh, I, i've been meaning to call you but i've been so slammed trying to get the movie done this obviously doesn't help me get the movie done but no no i um i cut your role basically a little bit a lot a lot. I cut it. I cut your role a lot. You just you, you mean you cut some of the scenes that I was in? Yeah. What was your character name in the movie? Uh, Lucas. And I yeah, remember I uh, kept saying, "I'm Lucas the Doofus." You know? Yeah. Um, well, that that's not going to be in your credit anymore. It's not going to say Lucas. It's just going to say um, farm farm hippie. Farm farm hippie. So how how much uh, uh, did you cut out of of me in the movie? It's embarrassing. I mean, if you want the cameras to be real, one of could talk about this. Well, just tell me, how much did you cut me out of the film? Well, how much did you spend for this? Uh, I actually made that myself. So it was, uh, I went to a craft store, and I got the, this pail is, you, once you've eaten it, you can use the pail for anything. It has Optimus Prime on it and stuff like that. How much did you cut me out of the movie? I mean, am I? Um, here's your part. my parents are coming. Here's your part. Okay. You're not getting uh, tickets for the premiere. It's like. It's for key crew cast. Oh, okay. No, they're not taking me anywhere. I'm an American. That. So I don't know. I'm an American. So you cut this out? No, this is uh, the shot. Th this is the only thing. They're taking me anywhere. I'm an American. That's it? Just the me saying you're not taking me anywhere, I'm an American? Oh, well, you do land. Okay, 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 all right, okay, all right, I was wrong. Okay, great, well, so then I land, so that's good. So that's the so only part that, of the movie that I'm in? That's Farm Hippie. This is it, right here. Yeah, you don't need to keep playing it, I, I, you don't, yeah, you don't need to keep playing it, I, I obviously, I can see that it's not very long. Well, it's, it's all right. Well, I feel a little bit foolish, so it's not I'm very good either. But anyway, what do you mean? I'm an American. Oh, okay. It's not. There was not even a line on the script. I mean, of course you're a American. Look at you. I was gonna make this out to you. So, are you guys all with him? I was just hired for the day. Oh, hired? Yeah, yeah. I kind of paid out of pocket for this. We'll keep you in mind. We'll 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 keep you in mind. Uh, for anything we've got, okay. Okay, thanks. And I'll just put my you phone just push number. it over, and we'll, yeah. we'll 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 put it in the file with everybody else. We have okay. A, and we'll, just says good luck. It will happen because I do believe in you. Yeah. I don't know okay. what to say. I'm really. Yeah. Sorry. No. It's this yeah. was probably the worst experience. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, thanks. This. I don't know if it's okay. Hey, Michael, do you mind? Do, do you mind if I if, do you mind if I keep this? No. OK, what about this? You know, you can take whatever you want in the office. Just it's just 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 OK, just take whatever you want. Just get out of here. Just ask the ladies okay. at the desk if you want. Just All right. Like, thank you. I like your watch. Yeah. See ya. See ya. We'll, we'll call you. We'll call you. Ah, listen! It's burning my eyes!